Hi, I'm Lego International, and um, I'm going to do one of my Lego reviews, and this is not available in stores. I built it myself, and um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I'm just going to give you o an overview of the thing. I'll do the minifigs later. Um, I'll explain the little um, wheel thing. Um, this is a carrier that carries all the equipment. Um, it has no attachment to, like, a vehicle or something. Just a bunch of people push it. It just goes into the area where they're fighting. Just helps them. Like, just extras. Um, I'll explain a little... No, I'll put the little minifig later. Um, here's a little, like, command center thing. And it's where, kind of like, where they look, where the enemy is, and where they are right now, and where they're approaching. And, um, little treasure chest here, where they open up and everything. I'll give you the little meeting room. I put a little hamburger here from the Krusty Krab. What I got, it's the old kind. Um, a little meeting room what I made with two blue sheets and a golden seat. Uh, I'm gonna give you the jet. Oops, oh well. Um, so here's the jet fighter, what I made. It's, um, pretty decent to look at the creation. Two little small jets at the back for just, like, support. Two high-powered jet engines, like, for turbines and stuff. Uh, glides for make it, to help it more, like, support. Little turret at the front for, like, guarding for ships in front. It can go up down everywhere. Uh, two little R2-E2s that I got from different sets. One from the Jedi Starfighter with the booster ring and uh, the V-Wing. Little Imperial um, sign for like aircraft and stuff. Um, I'm going to show you a contraption. There's a cockpit right here, which, you know, which everybody has, of course. Um, now, this little piece right here can slide off and hook on and then the guy can hop in and this slides back on to make it secure and that's pretty much it for the jet and um... let's start with the lookout tower now the lookout tower is a pretty decent thing to regarding like to look out for li ap approaching enemies and, um, I put, like, Kit Fisto's lightsaber and Obi-Wan's lightsaber in there, just to make him safe. A little camera f for, like, emergency missions with, like, a manual, like, a pi pilot manual or something. Um, here's a little ladder to get on, like, climb up. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, here's a little shelf where people can put, like, extras in there, like, guns and weapons and everything. Um, here's a little command center up here. Like, all these controls and everything. I put a little coffee cup there. And, yeah. So, yeah. Um, do you want me to? Um, let's start with the minifigs now. Now, I have so many minifigs. I'll start with the first one. Uh, this guy, he was actually supposed to be Spider-Man, but I kind of lost his head, so I just put a Lego City head on him. I put a little walkie-talkie on him for, like, air support and stuff. Um, Luke Skywalker Hoth. I got him from the Rebel Hoth base. Um, I like his flesh color, like, he's got, like, blue, like, anchors on his helmet. I put a little wrench on here. And I like how he's orange and got, like, a little thing. It looks like Darth Vader. Uh, R2 P17. Uh, I like this R2 better than R2 E2. Because I like how he's, like, red and stuff. And I like how he has the eye and stuff. You can take his head off, too, and put it on the jet fighter. But I like him how he's like this. Sometimes you make vacuum cleaners out of him. <laughs> Chewbacca. Which is my mom's favorite character. Uh, I put a little coin on him. Just to say that he has money and stuff. And a little oiling canister. For like oiling the jet and everything. 
I made this character up. Um, he's supposed to be a royal guard. I got him from the Slave One ship. And he was supposed to be the Bespin guard, but I just took him apart and put a bunch of pieces together and made a royal guard. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi, which I got from the Jedi Starfighter and Booster Ring. I like how he has this hair piece. It's really cool, but without with the bald hair, it kind of looks wrong. Um, got little beer face, like old one, Obi-Wan. Uh, his, his, um, it looks pretty cool because he got like a belt and like clothes and everything. And a snow trooper, which I like. I got him from the Rebel Hoth base. Uh, he's got a black head, which is not very surprising. Uh, they should put like a real face under it. I don't really like him. I made this guy up. He's supposed to be an Imperial pilot for like the TIE fighter. But by accident, I broke him and took him apart. So I don't have the helmet anymore. So I just put like the B Wing pilot on him and stuff. Uh, Kit Fisto. This is my one of my favorite characters. He's awesome. I like his head. His head is rubber though. Like, it's not very cool, but. At least, like, he has cool lightsaber and everything. Um, a brown body, green arms, lightsaber, stuff. Boba Fett. This is a very cool, um, commander for, like, clones and... Th I got this from the Slave one, which is surprising. Uh, another black head, which I don't like. Uh, titanium clothes. Um, and a little, um, blaster. Clone trooper with blaster and helmet. Put a skeleton face on him. And a rebel trooper, what I got. And he's actually pretty decent. Oh, what the heck. He's pretty decent, and I put the wibing um, helmet on him, because he lost the helmet. And this is, this is a snipe rifle, what's supposed to be on. But, yeah. So that's pretty much it for my review. Bye.